A still fumbling with basic Notion features in 2025, while others zoom ahead with automated workflows, you're stuck manually organizing tasks. These eight advanced Notion skills are no longer optional. They're the difference between thriving and barely surviving in today's world. Skill 1. Get cozy with filters, grooves, and sorting in databases. If you're still using basic to-do lists or tables in Notion, it's like scribbling notes on a napkin when you could have a full-on digital command center. Databases are where Notion shines, and mastering filters, groups, and sorting will save you time and keep you organized. Trust me, you don't want to be the one stuck wondering why everyone else is zooming through their tasks while you're drowning in checkboxes. Here is the deal. I open Notion and create a new page and call it Dashboard. I add a database by clicking the plus button and selecting Table under Database and name it Tasks. I pop in a couple of tasks, say Task 1 and Task 2, unlike a plain list where you just check off stuff. Databases let you connect tasks to projects, goals, or even your personal life buckets, like fitness or family. Now, let's make it useful. I add a checkbox property, I click the plus in the property section, select checkbox and name it done. Here is how I level it up. Filters, I click the filter button and set it to show only tasks where done is unchecked. Boom, completed tasks vanish. So, I'm looking at what's left. I can add more filters, like showing tasks due this week, or tagged for a specific project. It's like decluttering my brain. Groups, I create a new view of my database. Click the plus next to the tabs at the top. Select table and name it all tasks. I clear the filter to see everything. Then click group by and choose to group by done. This splits my task into two neat sections, checked and unchecked. I add a new task in one view and it'll pop up in the right group in the other. Because it's all the same database, just viewed differently. Sorting, I add a date property to my tasks. Click plus in the properties section, pick date and call it due date. I set random dates for my tasks, say today, tomorrow, yesterday. Now I click sort and choose due dates. Ascending or descending, my tasks line up in order and new ones automatically slot into the right spot. Why does this matter? Filters, groups and sorting let me see exactly what I need, when I need it. It's like having a personal assistant who organizes my life without asking. If you are still using basic lists, you're working harder than you need to. A skill 2. Make your calendar your best friend. Notion's calendar view is a game changer for keeping my life on track. Instead of creating a new database, I link it to my existing tasks database. On my dashboard, I type a slash calendar, select calendar view, and choose my tasks database. Since it's got dates, my tasks pop up on the calendar. Task 1 on today, task 2 on tomorrow, and so on. Here is where I need to calify. While Notion's calendar view is powerful, it doesn't directly sync with Google Calendar by default. For this integration, you'll need to use a third-party tool like Sync with Notion or the Notion API. What you can do natively is view your tasks in a calendar layout and manually assign them to a date. You can direct tasks to a specific time slot for time blocking directly in Notion's calendar. It's only support day labeling organization, not our labeling scheduling. I use this calendar view for planning what I'll work on each day. If I change a task date, in the calendar, it's updated in my database instantly. I can add a new task directly in calendar. Say task 6 on next Tuesday, and it'll show up in my dashboard's task list. This two-way functionality helps keep everything consistent across different views. For tour time blocking with specific hours, you need to export to Google Calendar or use the separate Notion Calendar app. A skill 3. Visualize your progress with chart. Charts in Notion are like a window into my productivity helping me visualize data from my databases. You'll need a paid account for charts as they're not available in the free plan. I duplicate my all task database view, name it charts, and click the three dot to switch the layout to chart. Now, instead of default task by date view, let's create something actually insightful. First, I'll select donut chart to visualize my workload distribution. Under group by setting, I change the property to project instead of done checkbox. This instantly shows me which projects are consuming most of my bandwidth. For instance, 40% marketing, 30% product development, and 20% client work. I can add a filter to only include tasks with parity equal high to see if my urgent work is balanced across projects or concentrated in one area. This reveals that 70% of my high priority tasks are in marketing. A clear sign I need to redistribute my focus. I take it a step further by creating another chart view that tracks my task completion rate over time using a line chart one of Notion's visualization option. I group by week or month custom properties to visualize my productivity trends. The resulting chart shows I'm most productive, mid months but a struggle at month end. This insight alone helped me restructure my workflow, shifting complex tasks away from those low energy periods. Charts aren't just data visualization. They're strategic decision-making tools that transform my eight hour work days 
into focus for our session with double the output. A skill for collect feedback with forms. Notion forms are a must if you are a student, freelancer, or just need input from others. I type a slash form to create one. Add questions like text field or multiple choice and customize it to fit my need. The tricky part, sharing it right. After I'm done, I click share form and switch it from anyone at your Notion account to anyone on the web with a link. For private workspaces, you'll need to check allow public access to this form in the share menu. I copy the link and I'm good to go. No need to manually add people. Here is a quick example. I build a client intake form with these fields. Name, text field, email, email field, project type, select with options like website, branding, social media, budget range, select with options 1k to 5k, 5k to 10k, 10k plus. Project description, text field, timeline, date field. When clients submit this form, their responses populate my client database automatically, making onboarding seamless. No more cut pasting information from emails. Forms are perfect for gathering client feedback, collecting RSVPs, or even tracking team tasks. All responses fit directly into a connected Notion database so I can organize and analyze them without extra work. Just remember that file uploads in forms require you to have a paid Notion plan. It's like having a digital suggestion box that always works for me. A skill 5. Build a framework that fits your life. This one's less about Notion features and more about how I think about productivity. I check out systems like getting things done, second brain, or the Eisenhower matrix. Maybe you got your own mix of productive tags. The key is to take those ideas and build them into my Notion for space. My dashboard handles everything. Tasks, project, goals, journaling, time tracking, you name it. For example, I set up my task database with a priority tag like urgent or low for the Eisenhower matrix. I create a page for journaling to clear my mind daily. While Notion doesn't have built-in time tracking functionality, I've actually built several time tracking solutions right in Notion. You can grab these templates, both free and paid versions, on NimbleGut if you want to save yourself hours of setup time. I use my calendar for planning based on my energy level, tackling big tasks when I'm sharpest. If you love parameters, projects, areas, resources, archives, you can make separate databases for each and link them together. The point is, Notion's flexible enough to fit my way of working, not the other way around. This takes some trial and error, but once your framework's in place, it's like having a roadmap for your life. No more scrambling to figure out what's next. You've got a system that works. Skill 6. Automate like a pro. Let's talk about Notion automations, my secret weapon for doing less but getting more done. Unlike basic task management, Notion's native automations can transform your workflow completely. Let me walk you through creating a sophisticated content pipeline. I start by creating content calendar database with properties like a status. Options include the app, ready for review and published, as well as deadline for due dates and assign to for team members. In the database view, I click the automate button in the top right corner and select create a new automation. I name it review alert and set the trigger to when a property changes. I configure it to activate when a status change to ready for review. For the action, I choose send the notification and dynamically include the page title and deadline. However, I should note that adding a second action to update the priority property automatically isn't currently possible with Notion's native automations. You need to use third-party tools like Make or Zapier for multi-step automation like this. Nevertheless, even with the single notification action, this creative workflow where content moves through stages with clear visibility and accountability. A start this month, automating one repetitive task. Once you see how much it saves, you're hooked. This isn't just a nice to have, it's how you keep up in a world where everyone's moving fast. SK7, link databases to rule your world. Link databases are Notion's superpower. They let me pull data from one place and show it anywhere else with custom filters and views. For example, I link my task database to a project page to see only tasks for that project. Or I create a homepage that pulls in tasks, goals, and habits in one view. It's like building a dashboard that ties my whole life together. Work, wellness, whatever. To do this, I type a slash link and select my task database. I set filters to show what I want, like task do this week or tagged for a specific client. One limitation to note is that link databases don't automatically sync their view setting with the original. I need to configure filters, source, and other view settings separately for each link instance. The beauty, I update the task in one place and it updates everywhere. Once you master this, notions become your personal mission control. Escalate. 
A scroll through updates with FeedView. Notion's FeedView introduced in mid-2025, it's like turning my database into a social media feed or blood. Perfect for staying on top of updates or sharing team news. It displays my database pages as a scroll level, card style post with previews of the content in sight, so I don't have to open each page to get the just sync team updates, project logs, or even a personal journal that feels live and interactive. I go to my database, click the plus next to my current view, and select feed from the dropdown. I name it task feed. My database entries now appear as a stack card, showing the page title, visible properties, and a content preview. To customize, I click the three dot menu and select properties. To toggle properties on or off to keep it clean. I can also add the last editor type property and sort descending to see my most recent update at the top. Great for tracking progress or team announcements. Final push. Don't get left behind. Look, life's too short to be stressed and overwork. These notion skills aren't just tricks. They're your ticket to working smarter, not harder. Start with one, like filters or feed view, and practice it until it's a second nature. Then add the next. The future of productivity is here and it's in your hand. So are you ready to take control? There have a comment if this helped and check out my Notion templates to change how you manage your life and business. Or if you're interested in saving time, you can get all my Notion system in one bundle at a significantly discounted price.